Don't make these mistakes with your Beagle. In this video, I'm going to share a few tips that are going to help you prevent making some mistakes with your Beagle or Beagles. Whether you are thinking about getting a Beagle or you have had Beagles before or you just got a Beagle, make sure to pay attention to these tips because they're gonna help you and guide you through the correct direction so you won't be making these mistakes and you're going to have a great Beagle. So let's get started. So my first tip is, and it's an obvious one, don't use treats to train your Beagle. Yes, don't use food or treats to train your Beagle. I know your Beagle is very foody and you think that's the way it should be, but if you have a foody Beagle and if Beagles are foody in general, you don't want to use food or treats to train them because on top of them being foodie and you use treats or food to train them and add treats or food throughout the day then they will be even more foodie they will be more reactive to foods and then you get into other kinds of trouble they start begging you for more food they start going through the garbage for more food because you're using food to get their attention and that even makes them to focus more to food. So as a foodie dog, or in general, so-called food motivated dogs, you don't want to use food to train them, especially when you have a beagle. You are able to train them easily using play and praise because they're so playful animals. They're so playful, happy, go lucky, fun beagles that you don't need to use treats or food to train them. All you need to do is use play and praise to train them. So that brings me to the next point, which is not providing enough exercise for a beagle. You have to provide a lot of proper exercise for your beagle in order for them to behave properly. And as I said, they're playful beagles, they're playful dogs, they're play playful animals. So use that playfulness and let them play with other dogs, other pets, and play with them. Play with them and train them. They will love that. They will love that interaction that you're playing with them and interacting with them and train them at the same time. And one of the best okay. ways of exercising your beagle is to walk them and let them sniff a lot. That is one of the best forms of exercising a beagle. Letting them sniff every inch of their walk path. Goal here is not to go from A to B. The goal is here to go from A to wherever it takes you within the next half an hour or so and let them just sniff whatever they want. Allowing them to do that, it stimulates them more than running around and walking around. So stimulating them by allowing them to sniff and also allowing them to play. Those are the best ways of exercising your beagle. Now my next tip is you need to socialize your beagle a lot. Beagles are very social, friendly, gentle, kind dogs. So you want to allow them to socialize with everything, all the pets and all the family members and everything else that you can. If you socialize them starting early, they will be the best dogs ever. They are very social animals, social butterflies in a way. So make sure that you socialize them all the time, every day, throughout the whole life of the beagle, they need to be socializing with everything else. Now, the other mistake that beagle owners make is they don't feed their beagle fresh food. Instead, they feed their beagles kibble or dry food. You need to feed your beagle fresh food. The more fresh food that you can afford and handle to feed your beagle, the better it gets. You need to think about long term. If you feed your dog fresh food instead of kibble or dry food, you're going to cut the cost of vet visits. Your beagle is not going to develop health issues. Your beagle is going to live a long and healthy life. And your beagle is going to appreciate you even more because you're providing it exactly what it needs, a fresh food, fresh diet. So either raw diet or home cooked diet, that would be ideal for your beagle. So focus on providing fresh food for your beagle. Now the last tip that I have is make sure that you're sharing affection with your beagle for sure. But I warn you to share affection as a reward, to share affection with the right mindset and right emotions and right feelings. Not just for no reason, just because your beagle is cute and is sitting somewhere and it looks cute, 
Don't just share affection. Use affection as a reward. When you use affection as a reward, it becomes more valuable. You get better results and your beagle is going to appreciate even more because beagles are looking for appreciation from the human and they want to be shared affection. And if you share affection at the right time, with the right mindset, with the right state of mind and as a reward, let's say you're training your beagle and your beagle does something that you asked it to do, you can share affection then, that becomes a reward instead of food. So when you share affection, your beagle loves you even more and your beagle thrives on that affection, wants more and more of that, rather than focusing on food or treats. So we cycle back to, instead of using food or treats as a reward, use affection as a reward. So if you wanna learn more about these mistakes and what not to do, I have created a formula that I call it a dog's five essential needs. If you provide these daily five essential needs for your beagle, you will have a healthy, happy, well-behaved beagle that you're gonna enjoy for a long, long time. So to learn how to provide these five essential needs, make sure to watch this video, and until next time, have fun with your dog.